Well, so this is where we found ourselves now. You're asking that these people be disarmed. But first of all, we must know where it is they're coming from. If we believe that they're coming from across the border, uh, you know, how easy do you think that is going to be? Because I don't see how the people will be carrying arms in broad daylight. Is that what they do? That's exactly what they do. And by the way, these, are not, these people are not spirit. When they, like the latest one, even when the governor went there, he met with them. They, were, they, they killed and took over the land. It's not as if, it, it, it's not like before, when they would come, hit and run back. Where's that? Is that in Buku? In Buruku, yes. Buruku. In Buruku. They killed and took over the land? They took over the land. They were there. When the governor visited, he spoke with them. He brought in uh, uh, the leader of uh, these cattle rearers who was communicating with them Why the governor was there. That is when the governor gave them the marching order that, no, look, we don't have, uh, if you are coming here to kill, leave. He made them there. So it's not as if they hit and run and you don't find, you don't find them. They were there. That's a very disturbing situation. Exactly, exactly. They, they killed people and stayed behind. They stayed there. This is very And powerful. met the chief security officer of the state. They stay, he, when, when he went there, he made them there. You know, so th that, is, that is the disturbing thing. So You it, said he went there with the local, with the local Fulani herdsmen who helped, you know, with the you communication. Know they, they have this, uh, they, were they able to identify that these people were not from amongst them? Well, I, I, I may not know, but because this, they have an association with Dako, Mieti, Katu, Yes. Uh, yeah, so the leader... The governor took along the, 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 the leaders who went there and they were, they were communicating with, with those people. And the same, those, are, those are the same people that killed uh, over 20 persons there. So it's not, it's not as if they are, they are spirits. Would they, if the security is serious about uh, getting those people, they will get them. How do you think? Do you think that the security men are just being... You know, over, are they being overwhelmed or is it that they don't care? Or what precisely do you think is going on with, you know, the security agencies? If these people actually indeed uh, could go to a place, kill the people who are resident there, and then take over the, the property, that there is some impunity in that. I wish I knew, the, I knew why they are doing that. But I, I think the point is that there's, there's, there's a lack of seriousness on the part of federal authorities to contain these people. Well, I don't know why, why that is so. But that's why I was citing the example of uh, uh, just turn it around and have the local farmers killing the cattle rearers anyhow in, in, in their tents. I, imagine how the, the federal authorities will react to that. Very uh, viciously, I'm, I'm why sure. Why do you think the federal authorities will react differently if, well, if, the, if the coin were flipped? Why, if, 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 the way Nigeria works is like some, some, some people from certain tribes are regarded more than others. That's the way I look at it. That's the way I look at it. That's, that's, that's the simple fact. And I'm beginning to uh, agree with those people who, says, who say that there is an agenda to take out people of, of the Benue Valley because of the, 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 the vegetation that is there. And because I, there's no other way to explain what is happening, truly. I have thought over it, and there's, there's just no other way to explain what is happening. The, the, I see the total lack of seriousness in trying to contain, uh, to contain what is happening. Okay, at the level of the House of Reps, that motion now must have passed. But, you know, what else is the House doing to ensure that the executive arm of government is taking more seriously matters of, you know, that affect the citizens of Benue State, more importantly? <sighs> yeah, you see, when you look at the concern of powers that a legislature has, there's a limit to what we can do. We cannot command uh, the, 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 the police. We cannot command the, 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 the army or other security. We can only urge them to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. If we can only urge them to do. If they don't, I mean, there's that helplessness, uh, you know, because we have, this is not the first time we are coming but up. But they with. can investigate. They can invite the police. Uh, that was done. Part uh, of, Inspector General. Part or? of the resolution was that he should appear. Yes. I mean, part of that, he was given, I think, two weeks within which to appear before the... the another committee was set. Can they summon the DGSSS as well to find out what is going on? If there's any intelligence as to, is it that our intelligence system is failing us? How is it that these people are able to write letters and, and still able to wreak the kind of havoc that they are in, in spite of the notice that they give? That's very scary. It's scary. It's scary. And it, it, it goes back to what I, I was saying before. I still see a lack of commitment on the part of the security agencies to stop these people. Last year, when uh, a lot of people were killed in Agatu, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the chief of army staff then went and was, was saying the, the, we had overestimated the casualties. 
I mean, that was his border. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. when, the, when the corpses uh, displayed on, on, on television and everywhere, he was saying that they, we had uh, overestimated the casualty list. Well, Honorable, I'm going to ask you to just hold your thoughts. We will come back and continue the conversation. My colleagues have the Commissioner of Police in Lagos State on the phone in Lagos. Well, yes, indeed. Uh, we've got uh, Bashar Makama, the uh, Benue State Commissioner for Police. He joins us this morning. Good morning, and thank you for joining us. Could you tell us, then, why is it that your police command has not been able to stop these attacks? Well, which of the attacks are you talking about? Several attacks in Benue. There's a recent one in Broku, uh, for instance. Yes, uh, there was an attack. Uh, in Buruku, these are two different uh, issues, as I said. One, the one in Buruku happened between the farmers and the Fulani husband or the cattle rearers. And the one that happened in Zakibiam uh, are criminals that have come to reign terror uh, in the yam market because of their intrigues on that market, and at the same time, uh, perpetrating criminality. So why have, you been why have you not been able to stop them? Well, we've tried to stop. Uh, for instance, the, 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 the one that happened in Buruku, uh, it happened at night, and while they did that, they, 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 they fled the scene. And you see, every crime has its own uh, origin, motive, and also uh, properties, I would say. So if the perpetrators of that crime are met at the scene, of course they will be arrested. But if they are not there, the next thing that will happen is to follow up logically, you know, through investigation, intelligence, and information, and then you'll be able to trap them. Have you, have you been able to make any arrests whatsoever? Yes, we've made some arrests. About which case? Uh, for instance, say again. Which particular case has the arrest been made? For instance, the, the one that happened in Zakibiam, we've made some arrests because the, 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 the perpetrators are known and identified and information came, and we are working on that. So if there is any other one that information would come, for, I live in Makodi, the, the policemen that are in Bonuku are also in a particular place. And then where these issues have been perpetrated are much further than where they can reach, you know, within the shortest time. So, and we have called on the community members. If these people live with them and they know them, if they know those who are perpetrated, if they mention, of course, security will go after them. So as, as it stands now, permit me to just butt in there. Uh, as it stands now, the distance between your response team and where these attacks are carried out, it's, say, uh, some kilometers away, and it takes you there about an hour to get there. What are you going to do to bridge that gap? Well, what we have done now is we've posted policemen at those locations, those various locations in the interland, because it means you need to cross the water, you need the boats to cross, and then the, the, the terrain there is not conducive for vehicles to move. So we use other means. So as I talk to you now, there are policemen, you know, in the interland where this issues or so these troubled areas. We have posted men there.